Yes, hello, good evening everyone. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Bayang Pilipinas at magandang umaga, magandang hapon in some other parts of the world. Welcome po sa Usapang Kaharian. Ang Usapang Kaharian, this is the Pinoy version of Kingdom Talk or Itagalog version of Kingdom Talk. It po, this program is designed so that we can reach out more Filipinos who are seeking and hungry for the kingdom message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dinisen niyo po ang programang ito upang maabot ang aming mga kababayan, kapwa Pilipino, upang maintindihan po nila ang minsahin ng kaharian. At... Good evening, Coach Ariel and Coach Presi. And to those who are listening of this program sa Philippines naman or other parts of the world, And thank you for this opportunity of introducing our guest speaker for tonight. So, Nelson Thomas is currently serving as director at the same time, Chief Financial Officer of Eldon Johnson Outreach Ministries International, which a religious nonprofit organization incorporated under the laws of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. EJOMI is a commission and under the care of the International Association of Kingdom Churches and Ministries, an organization which serves as an umbrella organization and covering for churches and ministries locally, regionally, and internationally. IAKCM Presbytery was the brainchild of the late Dr. Miles Monroe and the late Dr. Richard Pinder, who was tapped to lead the new initiative. Nelson had been active member of Bahamas Faith Ministry International or BFMI since 2012 and has studied and applied the kingdom message since then. He is a certified public accountant, professor, speaker, leader, and kingdom ambassador. So let us welcome Nelson S. Thomas. Maraming maraming salamat, Sharon, sa pagtanggap sa imbitasyon upang i-introduce yung ating guest sa gabing ito. At ngayon po, I am excited para eh, let's put on air yung ating guest. Walang iba kundi si uh, Sir Nelson Thomas. Ayan, magandang gabi po sa iyo. Ayan, good evening po. <laughs> I know that in your time it's morning, but here in the Philippines it's evening right now. Yes, hallelujah. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Ayan, parang nasa ano lang tayo. Alam nyo po sa yung ating guest po ngayon, nasa ibang bansa po siya. So, dahil nandito po tayo sa usapang karyan, sabi nga nang napag-usapan namin kanina, Uh, pipilitin niyang magsalita ng salitang Tagalog. Yes. <laughs> Dahil, you know, yung kanyang laging lingwaheng ginagamit sa ibang bansa ay salitang Ingles dahil nandun siya nag-work. But ngayon, tingnan natin kung marunong pa siya magsalita ng salita natin. <laughs> Ayan, so, this is your show. Ito po ay yung programa. Uh, you can dominate now the airwaves. Thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you again for the, this another opportunity na binigay mo sa akin. So this time, uh, it ito medyo bagong format um, usapang kaharian. So I will try to speak in Tagalog as much as possible. Mm-hmm. So and also um, in English, so we can uh, also reach all the persons who are listening and mm-hmm. watching this program right now and mm-hmm. I'm so excited um, greetings all the way from Canada it's just um, it's 4.30 a.m. here in Vancouver oh. Canada <laughs> so I still have my early morning voice <laughs> so but I'm so excited to be part of this program because mm-hmm. alam ko yung programa ng Usapang Kaharian is a great work It's a great kingdom work. Na this is not just a show to showcase um, lahat ng tao about who can share about the kingdom of God, mm-hmm. but this is a show of uh, changing lives, yes. uh, impacting someone's per someone's life. Um, and I think today my approach will be more on my life testimony, so everyone. Mm-hmm 
can relate to me. So, mm-hmm. lahat ng tao na nakikinig sa Pilipinas na that uh, so, in that way, ma iintindihan natin ano ba ang lagay or maging part ng kaharian ng Diyos. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. How to be like, how to be it is to be part of the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. And so today, um, I'm representing uh, one of the ministry, our ministry, Eldon Johnson Outreach Ministries International. Mm-hmm. So in short, it joke me. I'm one of the board of directors of Ijomi and mm-hmm. uh, last year we went to the Philippines. So, we went to the Philippines last year we, for a mission trip. We went to um, Bacolod and Cavite and uh, with it, it was a successful mission trip. Mm-hmm. And But before that, seven years ago, God sent me to the Bahamas mm-hmm. for a kingdom assignment. Mm-hmm. And for those years, every Sunday, Linggo Linggo, I had the privilege of understanding the goodness of the Kingdom of God. Wow. <laughs> through, personally, through Dr. Miles Monroe, mm-hmm. who made emphasis to the Kingdom message, which is the only message that Jesus preached during His ministry here yes. on earth. Mm-hmm. And so I'm so excited today to share what I can share to you. And somehow I'm here to remind you and to encourage you this program that you have the power to change your life. Wow. Amen. <laughs> that being part of the kingdom of God, you should have what we call warrior mentality mm-hmm. wow a warrior and mentality. this warrior mentality yes and i'm here to encourage everyone that you have the power to control your circumstance mm-hmm. so whatever is your circumstance kung ano man yung sitwasyon mo ngayon maybe it's financially maybe it's health or maybe it's relationship mm-hmm. Or maybe it's an addiction. Mm-hmm. Or maybe a simple stress. God is saying you have the power to control over all your circumstances. Mm-hmm. Ako at age 10, naranasan ko yung hirap ng buhay. Mm-hmm. Um, nagsasaka, sumasakay sa kalabaw, nagtatanim ng palay. At age 10, naranasan ko yung hirap ng buhay. Mm-hmm. At age 23, at young age, I went to the Bahamas, to a foreign land, as a breadwinner, to overcome my circumstance mm-hmm. that time. And that is poverty. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so God is saying to us, we have the power to control whatever circumstances we have. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sinasabi ng Panginoon na kaya nating mangibabaw sa lahat ng sitwasyon, sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay natin. Yes, that's right. And that includes poverty. Mm-hmm. And sa Pilipinas, it's very malaking issue ang poverty. Mm-hmm. And so, you have the power to change your life. Mm-hmm. That And that is the good news. And God gave you the power to change your life. Yes. It is just a matter of grooming your mindset, mm-hmm. renewing your mindset, mm-hmm. baguhin natin ang ating kaisipan, learning how to think, how to talk, how to act like a king or like a royalty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, sinasabi niyo po uh, ang susi upang makaalis ang isang tao sa kahirapan, malaki ang magiging papel ng kanyang, ng pagbabago ng kanyang pag-iisip upang makaalis siya sa sitwasyon yan. Yeah, tama yun. Because there is power in our thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yes. May kapangyarihan ng ating isip. Sabi nga sa Proverbs 23 verse 7, mm-hmm. sabi dito, For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Mm-hmm. 
And so, very napaka-importante ng, ng mindset natin. Mm-hmm. Because whatever is in our heart that goes to our mind. Mm-hmm. Because heart is the center for reasoning. Mm-hmm. Wow. It is also the hidden mind. Mm-hmm. It's also the sub- subconscious mind. Yes. And ang puso daw is parang human hard drive. Wow. And so it's very important for us to have the right mindset, yung tamang mindset. Mm-hmm. Marami sa mga Pilipino, ang sabi nila, pigin na nga na akong mahirap, mamamatay na akong mahirap. Mm-hmm. Okay na ako dito. Palagi natin sinasabi yan. Mm-hmm. But that is a wrong mentality. That yes. is a wrong mentality. Mm-hmm. Kaya marami sa mga kababayan natin ang mahirap pa rin because hindi sila dumadaan sa process, sa proseso ng pagbabago ng kaisipan. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so God gave us the power over it. God gave us the power to control our surroundings, to control our circumstances. Yes. And this is what we call having warrior mentality. Mm-hmm. Sabi ni Jesus, in this world, you will have troubles. Mm-hmm. Pero sinabi niya, but take heart, take courage. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Yes. Ibig niya, I have overcome the world. Yun ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon. Pag nag-give off ka, that's it. Mm-hmm. And so, sa kaharian ng Diyos, kailangan ng warrior mentality and kailangan ng totoong mindset. The first and most important mindset is having this warrior mentality. Which is connected sa principles of creation. So, tatanungin natin, what, then what is the main problem ng humankind today? And I think the main problem of humankind today is when you are in a circumstance where you cannot control. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nandun ka sa sitwasyon na hindi mo makontrol, may sakit ka. Sabi ng doktor, wala tayong magagawa. Mm-hmm. So, are you saying that human being ay dinisay ng Diyos ang tao to control His circumstances? That's correct. That's <laughs> wow. absolutely correct. Yes. And that is the very important mindset mm-hmm. for us, for everyone, na dapat makuha natin. Mm-hmm. Right? Because if you know in yourself that God gave you the power to control whatever circumstances you have. Yes, that's right. Maybe it's a simple stress, a simple worry. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a just simple like, just, work just like problem. Just that we have experiencing today, the coronavirus. Yes. Are you saying that people has, God has given people to control that virus? That's correct, yes. Wow. <laughs> And I, I think because the message that you are sharing today is really uh, napapanahon and you need to preach it my brother <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and so that is very important knowing that we have power to control over our yes, circumstances yes. so hindi mo hindi natin iisipin I'm here to hindi para sabihin sa inyo but I'm here to remind you and to encourage you because that is the original intention of God. Yes. Yun right. yung original mindset sa atin mm-hmm. ng Panginoon. Mm-hmm. But, ang tanong is why most of us, hindi natin alam that we have the power to control our circumstances. Mm-hmm. Na hindi natin alam that we have a warrior mentality, that we should mm-hmm. have a warrior mentality. Mm-hmm. Why is it so at this point of time, maraming tao ang nagsistruggle. Mm-hmm. Maraming tao ang, ang 
hindi kayang pangibabawan ang bawat, bawat aspeto ng kanilang buhay. And that is because of the fall of mankind that happened long time ago. The fall of mankind, we lost five things during the fall of mankind mm-hmm. nung panahon ni Adam, ni Adan at Eva. Mm-hmm. We lost the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. We lost the righteousness. Mm-hmm. We lost the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. We lost the leadership mm-hmm. in mankind. And we lost rulership. Mm-hmm. These five things that we lost during the fall of mankind, the good news is, Jesus brought this back to us. Yes, amen. And that is why ang Panginoong Heso Kristo pumunta sa lupa mm-hmm. para dalhin to bring back to us the things that we lost. Mm-hmm. First, ang kanyang kaharian. Yes. Jesus, dinala ng Panginoon ang kaharian ng Diyos dito sa lupa. Mm-hmm. And Jesus has five specific mission goals. Bakit nga ba pumunta ang Panginoon dito sa lupa? First, and the, the, the main reason bakit pumunta ang Panginoon dito sa lupa is to solve the problem of the fall of mankind. Mm-hmm. Jesus came to earth to, re- to reintroduce the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, reintroduce, meron na dati. Mm-hmm. Right? Second, he came to restore the righteousness. And third, he came to restore the Holy Spirit in man. Mm-hmm. And fourth, he came to retain mankind for kingdom leadership. Yes. And finally, he re- came to restore the kingdom rulership of God on earth through mankind. Yes. And so, sinabi natin kanina that the first and most important mindset is related, is connected if we understand the true principle of creation. Mm-hmm. Kung naiintindihan natin, bakit ba tayo ginawa ng Panginoon? Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung process ng creation? The understanding the true principle of creation will make a great impact in our mindset. Yes. Because God is saying to us that we are created to lead. Mm-hmm. Ginawa tayo ng Panginoon, pinanganak kang leader. Mm-hmm. Everyone was born to lead. Everyone was created to lead. Yes. And you were created to lead and designed to dominate. Wow. Ang Amen. original purpose, sorry, ang original purpose ng mankind is found in the book of Genesis 1.26. Mm-hmm. So, ito yung unang libro sa Bible. Genesis 1.26. It says, And God said, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness mm-hmm. and let them have dominion over the earth. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, ginawa tayo ng Panginoon in His image and likeness. Image and likeness hindi ibig sabihin ng image and likeness yung larawan at wangis. Hindi ibig sabihin yan about physical look. It does not refer to the mm-hmm. physical look. Yes. But it refers to God's character mm-hmm. in nature. Yes. So kung ano yung kapangyarihan ng Panginoon, meron siya. Meron ka rin. Mm-hmm. Because yes. you are created in His nature, in His character. And so that's why We have the power to to dominate. Mm-hmm. We have the power to control our circumstance. Yes. And so God gave us dominion. Ano ba yung word dominion? Pag sinabing dominion, it means to rule. It means to govern, to mm-hmm. control, to manage, to mm-hmm. lead, master. So God gave us dominion. So let's let's say for example, this let's do this simple analogy. Yung mga ibon, God created birds to fly. Yes. And so ginawa ng Panginoon ang mga ibon na lumipad. Mm-hmm. And so God gave them ability to fly. Mm-hmm. So likas na sa ibon 
ang kayang lumipad. Yes. Because that how that is how God created birds. Mm-hmm. Wala naman tayong ibo na nakita ng umaattend na flying lesson, right? I don't think so. <laughs> It's built in. Likas na sa mga ibon yun. It's the same thing with the fish. God created fish to swim. And so kung ginawa ng Panginoon ng mga isda na, na lumangoy, binigyan niya din ng kakayanan lumangoy ang mga isda. So God gave them ability to swim. And so merong ibon, ginawa ng Panginoon ng ibon, ang mga isda. Mm-hmm. And then now God created us humankind. Mm-hmm. And God gave us ability to dominate. Yeah. Dahil pinanganak tayong leader, mm-hmm. ginawa tayo ng Panginoon. We were created and born to be a leader. And so if we are created and born to be a leader, God gave us the ability to dominate. God yes. gave us the ability of leadership. Mm-hmm. So likas na sa atin sa pagiging tao ang pagiging leader. Yes. And so we can say pag hindi ka leader, hindi ka tao. <laughs> Because God created us to yes. lead. <laughs> And that is the simple analogy like yung ibon is para lumipad yung isda is para lumangoy mm-hmm. and us God created us to be a leader Are you saying that if man are not exercising his his leadership because he, he was created to be a leader pag hindi siya nag nagiging leader ibig sabihin nagma-malfunction yung kanyang buhay because he was designed to lead That's correct. Because that is the original purpose of God for mankind. Sinabi nga sa Genesis 1.26. Mm-hmm. Genesis 1.26. God gave us dominion. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, God gave us ability to dominate. Kaya yes. sinabi natin sa umpisa kanina ng program that we have power to control our circumstance. Mm-hmm. That's right. It means we have the ability to dominate whatever it is. Whatever mm-hmm. it is, it may be financially, mm-hmm. it may be health, it may be um, relationship, it mm-hmm. may be whatever. It's, it may be a work problem mm-hmm. or it may be a simple stress. God gave us ability to dominate all those things. And this is the good news of the kingdom. <laughs> yes, and that is why Jesus came to earth. Wow. To Amen. bring back to us. Para iparana sa atin muli ang karean ng Diyos. Could you imagine if lahat ng nakikinig sa atin ngayon at maging yung mga first time na nakapakinig sa programa ito, kung magkakaroon sila ng ganong mentality that I am created to lead, I am created to master something, I am created to to dominate the crisis, I believe that this discussion that we have today, yung ating pinag-uusapan ngayon, it will really It will bring yung sabi nga yung kagaanan sa kanila mga buhay. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And so binigyan tayo ng Panginoon ng kapangyarihan, power, authority, mm-hmm. dominion. God gave us dominion mm-hmm. over the earth. But merong isang exception, merong merong isang subalit Yes, so bali. Doon sa dominion principle. Bagamat dapat what? God. <laughs> yes, dapat what? We have dominion over the earth, but we cannot dominate each yes, other. Yes, yes, that's right. Hindi ko pwedeng i-dominate yung kapatid ko, hindi ko pwedeng i-dominate yung asawa ko, hindi ko pwedeng i-dominate yung nanay ko, tatay ko. Mm-hmm. Male and female are not created to dominate each other. Yes, that's right. And that, yun yung malaking subalit <laughs> sa kapangyarihan na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin mm-hmm. to dominate. The power to dominate. We can dominate all our circumstances except humankind. Yes. That's why maraming tao, marami sa mundo ngayon, Mara, merong, merong misunderstanding ng principle na ito, ng dominion principle. 
Actually, isa sa nakikita ko that the reason kung bakit nagkakaroon ng mga war or nagkakaroon ng mga crisis sa bit, um, mankind to mankind because yes. when, when yung kapwa niya tao, kapag he try to dominate yung kanyang kapwa tao, doon nagkakaroon ngayon ng, ng malaking problema. That's correct, yeah. And so, so this is the true concept or the true principle of creation. So, kapag naintindihan natin, bakit ba tayo ginawa ng Panginoon? Bakit tayo na, nandito sa mundo? If we understand the true principle of creation, mm-hmm. we will discover our ability. Yes. We will discover ourselves. And if we discover ourselves, kung, kung kilala mo ang sarili mo, sino ka ba? you will discover your ability. And if yes. you discover your ability, you will discover your gift. Mm-hmm. At yung gift na yun, ikaw lang ang pwedeng gumawa nandito sa mundo. Yes, unique. Your gift will make room for you. And mm-hmm. that is the unique role you will have. Yes. That is the gift or the role that na ikaw lang ang makapagpupuno dito sa mundo. And so it starts from understanding first the true principle of creation. Knowing who you are, knowing why God created you, mm-hmm. bakit ka ginawa ng Panginoon, knowing what do you have, knowing the nature of you, mm-hmm. knowing your character mm-hmm. will make a difference yes. in your life. Mm-hmm. And this, this true principles ginagamit ko throughout mm-hmm. in my entire life. Yes. This principle totally changed my life. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, in my childhood, I have so many cha- challenges. You know, um, nung panahon, mahirap kami. Ay nagsasaka. And at age 10, I used to be a farmer. Mm-hmm. At young age. So my father is training me how to be a farmer. Mm-hmm. And then I remember I have to walk two hours just to get to school. Mm-hmm. And then when I graduated college, uh, sinabi ni Papa na, we will not be able to, sorry, after grad, uh, high school graduation, my father told me, you will not be able to go to college because we don't have money to pay the tuition fee. And so sinabi niya, magpari ka na lang because ang um, <laughs> pagpapari is libre. So, from from the first, my father is training me how to be a farmer. Mm-hmm. And then, he said, he wants to be, he wants me to be a priest. Mm-hmm. But to make the long story short, at, in year 2009, I passed the board examination for certified public content. Mm-hmm. And during this time, our house was swept by the flood. So, inanod yung bahay namin along the riverside during this time. And so, to cut the story short, at age 23, I went abroad at young age to a foreign land to sustain my family as a bread. Mm-hmm. And now, I'm here. God sent me to the Bahamas seven years ago mm-hmm. for a kingdom assignment. Yes. And now God sent me here in Vancouver, Canada for another kingdom yes. assignment. And so gusto ng tatay ko na maging farmer ako, na maging priest, but God wants us, wants me to be who I am. Yes, according to his design in our life. According to his original design yes. and purpose. Mm-hmm. And so, the kingdom of God, ang karihan ng Diyos is, is a country. Parang isang bansa lang yan, parang isang Pilipinas. The kingdom of God is a country. And if it is a country, kailangan mong maging citizen yes. ng isang bansa. Mm-hmm. Amen. And so, kung papansin natin, meron tayong mga... Um, kababayan na pinapadala sa ibang bansa. 
mga tinatawag na ambassador. Mm-hmm. Like, ambassador to Japan, ambassador to the US, ambassador to, the, to Canada. Itong mga ambassador na to, they cannot be an ambassador if they are not Filipino citizen. Yes. So it means, sa kaharian ng Diyos, ganun din. For you to be a Christ ambassador, kung tinatawag mo ang sarili mo, that you are Christ ambassador, you have to be a kingdom citizen first. Because you cannot be an ambassador without being a citizen first. Mm-hmm. Kailangan mo maging citizen muna. Yes. And so, getting into understanding the kingdom of God requires a lot of changing our mind. Yes. Requires a lot of renewing our mind on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. On a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And up to now, I'm still changing my mindset. Yes. And it's every day. Mm-hmm. And so, You know what? I, I like what you said. It's yes. an everyday process. It's not an instant process, but it's it's an everyday, araw-araw na gagawin pagbabago ng pag-iisip. Amen. At paano gagawin yan? Paano, uh, for the sake doon sa ating tagapakinig, yes. paano nila mababago yung pag-iisip nila? Yes. O sinabi natin kanina that understanding the good news Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung good news ng kaharian ng Diyos? Mm-hmm. It requires a lot of changing our mind, mm-hmm. our mindset. That's why sinabi natin sa Proverbs 23 verse 7 that for us a man thinks in his heart kung ano yung nasa puso mo, so is he. Mm-hmm. And so the first step I think para on a daily renewal ng ating isip is that kailangan nating tanggapin that we are students. Mm-hmm. So for example, In a, in a classroom setting sa school, merong student and merong teacher. Mm-hmm. So all of us, dito sa karyaan ng Diyos, we are all students. Mm-hmm. Student means simply disciple. Mm-hmm. So student is disciple then. Mm-hmm. So first is we have to accept that we are all students. We are all disciples. Mm-hmm. And if we are all students, we are learning we should be learning. Mm-hmm. And if we are students, there should be a teacher. Mm-hmm. And who is this teacher for us to help to renew our mind daily? There's a student, there's a disciple, us. And who is this teacher? This teacher is the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit is our personal tutor. Mm-hmm. It's our personal teacher mm-hmm. in every day that we sa lahat sa araw-araw na pagising natin ang Espiritu Santo ang gumagabay sa atin yes. para patuloy nating baguhin ang ating kaisipan mm-hmm. patuloy tayong lumago sa kaharian ng Diyos patuloy nating maranasan ang mga benefits ng kaharian yes. what it is to be like inside the kingdom of God mm-hmm. And so I think that's the first and important mm-hmm. aspect in everyday renewal of our mind. Yes. And so I just want to encourage everyone today who are listening and watching this program mm-hmm. that that you have the power to control. Yes. Yeah whatever is your circumstance. Kung nawawalan ka ng pag-asa, don't give up. Jesus said, yes. I have overcome the world. Mm-hmm. Kung nawawalan ka ng pag-asa, right now, if you are listening right now, if you are watching right now, and you're, you are thinking of committing suicide, mm-hmm. don't do that. Yes. Because God has given you the power over it. Mm-hmm. Yes. God has given you to control that mind mm-hmm. of suicidal thought. Yes. Wow. Because God created us. God, gusto ng Panginoon na ma-realize mo kung sino ka. Yes. 
at kung anong meron ka at anong meron ka pangyarihan ka. Yes. Amen. Mm-hmm. And so I just want to encourage everyone that whatever you're going through today, whatever circumstance you're going through today, remember that you have a warrior mentality. Yes. Remember Amen. that God gave us the power mm-hmm. over all our circumstances. Yes. And nothing is impossible if we know that we have power to control our surroundings. Mm-hmm. Amen. But not to control other people. Humankind. Yes. Yes. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat sa mensahe na yung pinarating. And I believe na ito yung magbibigay ng kaliwanagan at kalakasan encouragement yes. sa mga tagapakinig natin sa programang Usapang Karyan at nakakatawang tingnan dahil uh, may bulbin ka pang hawak talagang uh, <laughs> napakagandang tingnan at maraming maraming salamat sa buhay mo at Thank you, I know that yes. hindi ito yung huli nating uh, magiging guest ka sa programang ito at I, I need to kailangan natin itong laging pag-usapan upang maabot natin hindi lamang yung ating kababayan kundi yung napakaraming mga tao na nasa isang sitwasyon sila na hindi nila alam ang kanilang gagawin. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Sa lahat po ng ating tagapakinig, I invite everyone to share po natin yung ganitong klaseng mga mga programa dahil kung minsan nakakalungkot tinatalo pa tayo ng mundo ang mundo. Ah... Uh, kahit hindi maganda yung pinakita sa sa na video ay sinis- maraming nagsi-share so sa uh, I, we, we invite you to share this to your friends to your families upang sila din ay ma-empower sa pamagitan ng shiner ng ating kapatid ayan so Amen. before po tayo magtapos sa gabing ito i invite you to speak a prayer sa lahat po ng ating tagapakinig yes Hallelujah. Panginoon, salamat po sa araw nito, Lord. We thank you for this great work na ginawa mo, Lord. We thank you for the life of of um, Coach Presi and Coach uh, Ariel for the, using them dito sa programa na ito. Itong programa, Panginoon, ito is life-changing program, Panginoon. That it's touching lives. It's impacting mm-hmm. lives, Panginoon. It's, this is not just a show, but this is a show where people lives are being changed yes, well mindset are being changed and salamat panginoon sa lahat na nakikinig sa programa ito lahat ng na, uh, nanonood ng programa ito lord we pray yes, that at the end of watching this program they will realize that they will have power to control their circumstance yes in whatever they are going through they hindi sila mag-aalala. Yes. Mangingibabaw sila sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay nila. Whatever it is. Thank you Lord for this day and we give you all the glory in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Maraming maraming salamat po sa iyo at kingdom salute to you at magandang umaga sa iyong lugar diyan. Thank you then coach. Ayan that was uh uh sa Sir Nelson, maraming salamat sa kanyang buhay sa sa magandang mensahe na kanyang ibinahagi sa programang ito. And this is Coach Ariel, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pagkikinig, pagpalain po tayo ng ating Diyos. And bye for now.